As far as meditation goes, one thing I've been keenly aware of recently is the importance of following one's own natural, true self frequency. That is, can be very challenging to maintain in our world of constant static noise, other energies around us with whom we may or may not be in sync. And through my meditation practice recently, I'm keenly aware of the importance of continually realigning one's uh, true self or natural frequency, relaxed frequency, in order to have access into higher dimensional thinking, which is what many of us want and what we're going for. The glimpses I get into those worlds and into the myriads of those nuances throughout the course of a day in things like... Um, Sights, sounds, smells, memories, impressions, people, synchronicities with people throughout the day, how people we either know or perhaps don't know interact with us on a daily basis and the synchronicities within uh, as we connect the dots or put together the puzzle as it were, all of that stuff is only accessible when we are vibrating at a calmer uh, wavelength that's in alignment with our true nature or our true self without getting uh, derailed by the noise, chatter, static, that's just ubiquitous and will is at around every corner to usurp <laughs> what's going on positively with our own innate energy. So I'm keenly aware of that today. And since uh, putting that tandem out in my own life uh, recently, I, I really see the potential of staying in that. And I already see the challenge of, of practicing it, of practicing continual realignment to come back into the self, to be of best service and use with others, with one's own environment. Uh, without that, with those uh, derailed or um, even toxic states, we're not helping anyone, least of own ourselves. So, I don't know, it's kind of, not kind of, it is an epiphany I've had lately uh, regarding that. And it's a lot of fun to be aware of because all of the richness of the nuances and picking up signals from perhaps other dimensions, space-time dimensions, I can get into that language. All of that stuff, the potential, seems to me to only become apparent when our true frequency is being maintained. As soon as that gets off kilter, in the matter of a few seconds even, for me anyway, all that other stuff just goes poof away. It's not, it's not accessible. And following the trails of the nuances from our senses, again, sight, sound, smell, taste, touch, uh, memories, and, and any um, interactions between those memories or confluences of those senses creating a new uh, experience, as it were. That those are completely possible as well. Not just the one or two dimensional wavelength of any one thing, but their influences and um, interactions, as is shown in quantum theory. I was checking out a video recently from PBS Space Time with Professor Matt O'Dowd. I find the experience of walking meditation, including uh, deep breathing, to be hugely 
um, integral to my own state of well-being and I access all those those myriad of nuances I keep calling them but that's the best way I can describe those little flashes of um, deja vu or synchronicity or perhaps it's not something you can even put a finger on but you have a vague notion of something being familiar or accessible or exciting or intriguing or interesting and it can be roads that we wish to go down for a while in our mental thought um, as we entertain those nuances it could be anything from a woodland scene or it could be often memories based on the weather and the, and the coolness or the dampness evoking a high school hallway in in the autumn sometimes spring can uh, trigger autumn thoughts and vice versa have you noticed that on the shoulder seasons when there's a certain day that you might or i've done this where i think you know what month am i in say on an april day um, that has that cool feeling in the air, like November, like it could be November. But, you know, those kind of things um, show the, the kind of di interdimensional weaving that can uh, take place. And there, those pathways of thought are so much fun to explore. And again, I'm only able to reach them when I have recalibrated, realigned my own frequency. Now, I think you may hear it a lot like, you know, take care of oneself first before worrying about anybody else. Um, make sure that you're doing okay. I've heard that a lot recently as some uh, personal counsel and you know, the interesting thing about that is that it's really true. When we put our own interests, I'm not talking greed either. I'm not talking interests out to derail somebody else or sabotage somebody else. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the self-interest in being the most whole body and mind that we can possibly be or else we're broken and we're not helping anybody. And when we start to do that, that mindfulness or awareness of that, for me, is what naturally leads into sensing and noticing that my frequency is not calibrated. It's out of sync and out of alignment. And to relax and breathe enough, whatever the case is, to be able to enter those other more um, worthwhile and, and positive uh, spiritual, soulful, whatever you want to say, those other uh, awarenesses or perhaps dimensions. Because to me, that seems like the healthier, uh, more fun place to be. And it also um, carries over into relationships with others as I notice that my best and deepest relationships are with people who are are keyed into that maybe we're not there all the time of course we're human so that maybe doesn't work out so much but you, we'll find like a magnet we attract the people with the frequencies that are most in line with us Thanks for tuning in. Please post your comments below and subscribe if you're new around here. I look forward to getting feedback on this one and have a great day.